A year ago, when I first started my YouTube channel, uh, I made this video, how to download FSPY and Filmic Blender. That video was uh, was was a bummer, yeah. I didn't actually want to post it, but yeah, I had no choice. Had bad sound quality, bad video quality, and yeah, it wasn't that great. But yeah, it turned out to be the most viewed video on my YouTube channel. Um, I made this comment that I'll redo this video because of how bad it was, of course. Yeah, I made a comment that I will redo this video. I think I'll redo this video, yeah. Sorry guys, my microphone didn't capture a lot of my voice, and yeah. Hey everyone, Rigiblen here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to download FSPY for Blender. Yeah, if you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up, turn the notification bell, and don't jump right into it. Oh um, yeah, so guys, basically, FSPY is a tool that you could use to create all these interior designs, and yeah, it's good with calibrating like the the focal length of a, a particular scene. Let, let me just let me just illustrate, shall I? Okay, so the first thing, how to download FSPY? I'm actually using Brave. Yeah, it's actually very cool. F go to FSPY.io, and yeah, you see all this. I wonder who uses IO nowadays, but. Yeah, you see all this stuff. So you, well, you hit the big green button. Who <laughs> doesn't hit the big? Yeah, you go hit download. And yeah, you see all this. I wonder why there's so many. But what I usually do is download this one. A zip file. Yeah, win zip. Zip, 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 zip. Okay, yeah, I'll hit a spider io too. Over here. And yeah, you see, import into Blender, import into other applications, and there's a special link. Yeah, so it's over here. There is an official SPI importer add on that sets the parameter of the Blender camera and optional, optionally sets the camera background image. Okay, yeah, so they hit that button and you go to code. You don't know GitHub now, <laughs> you go to code and hit download zip, of course, all the time. And you, this is brave, so you just gotta save it. I have downloaded these things over and over again. That's not testing out this video. Anyway, so how to install the add-on, okay? So I have it installed already, so you just go to edit preferences. So first you have to extract it. That's the FSPI on, but the, but the Blender add-on, like in my downloads now. Oh my gosh, I have so many zip files. Okay, so you see FSPI Blender Master. Okay, I have two. Because I've done this before, and yeah, it's gonna show up, but because I already have it enabled over here, so that's what you should be doing, that's what you consider right now. So, under downloads, I believe that's where you're saved. You see this spy dot 1.03. Anyway, just extract it, extract the files. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna extract it, it's just too much, anyway. So, when you extract it. I checked that everything's in my pictures. I'm, I'm just go go ahead and delete all these things. But yeah, when you extract it, you should see this 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 really cool logo. I love this look. It lo looks like a, a point here and point here. Anyway, so you open F spy. Yeah, it's come on, and yeah, you see load example image. There's an example image that you can use to test this stuff. But yeah. And I won't press that. <laughs> I want to go to the internet to find a picture, shall I? Uh, my point of interest is actually Pinterest. Oh my gosh, did I say that? My point of interest is actually Pinterest. That's amazing. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you could find some awesome, cool pictures in Pinterest. Pictures in Pinterest. <laughs> I think I'm going for this one. I'm not gonna be going to the whatever whatever. I'm just gonna be saving the image. I just want to save the image. Yeah. It's the same thing as downloading it, so I'll just save it there. Okay, it's as a download. And the best way to actually do this. I'm just open F spy. All the shortcuts that people do. Uh, I see. I'll be like, what? Why are you pressing? I'm just dropping it here and 
course, right off the bat, you see the X axis and the Y axis. I'm not really sure. I've not used SPY for a long time. <laughs> uh, but the X should be here. Let me just see in Blender. Blender. Okay, so the X is here and the Y is here. So, yeah. Okay. That's why. <laughs> so, the X should be around this point here. And I think I'm going to put an L1 here. I wonder why I was also calibrating there. Okay, so now the Y, I'm gonna put one here, one here, and one where else? Here, and one here. Yeah, there's something you could do. You could actually remove the dimming on the image to see bright. And when you're holding, like when you're clicking this, you could hold Shift. To position it right exactly where you want it to be. I, think I want it to be around here. This one to be around somewhere here. Yep. And you could go from 3D van third vanishing point, or you have the Z axis up here. So I'm just gonna drop one here and one here. Yeah, so now I think it's finally time to put my XY grid flow. It should line up when you're done this with some kind of key or something like that. But yeah, it should line up. Okay, it's lined up pretty well, if you ask me, I think. Yeah, so when you have done that, you just save it. You literally just save it. So I'm going to be saving my pictures where I save everything as ump. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what ump is, but yeah, I'm gonna be saving as ump. So when you go to file import, you see this thing. This this thing appears here. This amazing thing. I don't know what STL is, but yeah, this amazing SPI stuff appears here. So you just go to wherever you you save your ump pictures. Um, ump. <laughs> CGGG T5 to my trials. Ump. Okay. So now, ump. Let's see where it lines up. Shall we? Ump lines up. <laughs> wow, it's lined up with the base, and yeah, that's why it's really cool. You could just start building up this really cool, um, let's see, passage room. Oh yeah, passage room. <laughs> I'm just line this up. Yeah. Add um, hit E on the Z axis. You can build up this really cool passage room from just one really cool tool. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, ring the notification bell. I really wanted this to be shorter, that's why I can treat filming Blender. And yeah, I'm just making rhymes in this video. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.